exhilarating feeling you get at the beginning of a school year when you think of all those late night study sessions and long essays and exams. Yeah, I don't know that feeling either. And I even moderately like school. You're probably wondering, who is this weird girl lightening you on her every inner thought, right? I am a junior at one of the most prestigious boarding schools on the West Coast, Norland Boarding School, and I've just settled into my new dorm room and am already fast at work on AP stuff. Joy! Hello Marion and anyone else who stumbles across this video. My name is Ellie Dashwood and this is my first vlog entry ever. Can you tell? My twin sister Marion and I started these vlogs to stay in touch over a long distance. It's so great that nowadays we have phones and vlogs and... Oh, sorry, I was just checking my new um, Instagram account. I have literally no followers. I created it as a way to get closer to you, Marianne, and it would really help if you would actually follow me back. While you're at it, follow me back on Twitter too. And you know, it might be nice if you actually responded to one of my texts every once in a while. Don't let Marianne's inept ability to respond to me make you think that Marianne and I aren't close. We just have a special way of communicating. Our way of communicating is, I try to stay in touch as much as possible, being the older responsible sister I am. I am three seconds older. And Marianne avoids me like I'm a leper in the Old Testament. But I know deep down, Marianne truly cares about me and our entire family. She just, you know, has trouble showing it or something like that. And if anyone else wants to follow my account, I guess you could call it that. I'm not really up to date with social media lingo. But if you want to follow me, my account is at Ellie Dashwood. And it's sad because I'm not very good at creative names. And it's also the same for Instagram and Twitter because again, I'm not very good at creative names. <gasps> oh my gosh. Fanny and John stopped by my house for a visit and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they. I'm sorry, this is just really hard to take. So apparently my half-brother, who I always thought was rather nice, or at least had decent intentions, manipulated my father's will so he got inheritance of, well, everything. I just need a minute to process this. Maybe I should actually watch Marianne's videos before I record my own instead of briefing myself on them during my vlogs. <laughs> I guess I'm happy that John and Fanny and their little adorable son Johnny will be happy and comfortable in life, but this is still a really big blow. We're penniless. And not in the way when Marianne can only buy one Prada dress instead of two on a shopping spree. We're actually penniless. How will I afford to keep going to Norland? Boarding schools aren't cheap, but it's okay. I shouldn't worry about this too much, especially not over the World Wide Web. Everything will work out as it always has. You know, school doesn't start up for a while. And it would be good to go home and see how Marianne and my mother are doing with our father's passing. And now this big news. We tend to be a little overdramatic, as seen in Marianne's last video, where she compared herself to Romeo and Juliet. And I'm not criticizing her or anything. It's perfectly okay for her to express herself this way. And if she wants to compare her life to Romeo and Juliet, who am I to say she can't? As long as she doesn't marry someone as a teenager or kill herself for some boy. Oh my gosh, both of those sound exactly like something Marianne would do. It would be best for me to go home until school starts up in two weeks. Next time I see you, Marianne, we will both be at home together. I can't wait.